Hi, Sierra. I'm going to make you a tiny video. So the first thing you do is we always start by folding our paper in half to make a hot dog fold. Really nice and crisp along that line. And then in half right there to make a tiny square. Then we open it up. Then we take our outer edges to the center, right and left. And then we take these outer edges to that center line where we made the fold. I know it's hard to see probably right here. And then this is the part that gets you every time. We're ready for that move. We're gonna take this out and we need to only look at each little square that is sitting flat. I'm gonna turn it a bit. We're gonna take this fold right here and it's gonna go right over there. So that's gonna make that stand up. We're gonna do this one over here. So I only wanna make a valley fold right in there. Then we're able to do that squash fold and it looks like the little house. Then we do it again on the other side. We're gonna fold it right to there, right to there. So if you do that part super neat, it works well. Then this folds down. Sometimes those wanna kink, like mine's acting a little funny. So I'm gonna make sure it gets, it's a little bit uneven. So I'm just gonna make it as even as possible. Ooh, I'm having issues. There we go, that's a little messy. But then it's gonna be the shark party or the table. So we put these up. So it kind of looks like an X, like all the shark are meeting. Although if we do it that way, it makes a little table. But then at this point, we open these like a bird beak, bark, 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 and we squash them all nice and flat. Right there, I've got a little kink, so I'm gonna try to smooth it out. If I have to, sometimes I put a pencil in there. So we would do that to all four. Bark, 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 squash it. Then we squash this one. This paper is really pretty because it's multicolored. Squash that one. Then we have all these little squares and we want to fold the open edges where we can see that into the white area to the center and it looks like a little kite. We're going to do that on all four of those. That one's a little messy. We're gonna do that all the way around, and then it's the part where you open this and squash it, and we wanna make sure that fold line matches up to that one. And this is what gives us that little wheel look. So we would do that all the way around, and it looks like the little wheel. So imagine I've done it all the way. And then the last step, imagine it's all the way. We take these little corners and we fold them back in between the points, and that's what is going to glue it all together to make your ornament. So I hope that works. I know you have trouble with this step, so just keep fiddling with it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.